continue to look at these countries who are exhibiting at WTM in London. Azerbaijan may not be at the top of your travel list, and yet its bustling capital and the landscapes are fast making the South Caucasian country a travel hotspot. Florian Shekmich is the CEO of Azerbaijan's Tourism Board, and he told me the country's uniqueness is a large part of its appeal. The message is uh, experience Azerbaijan, experience the uniqueness of Azerbaijan. We believe that um, a relatively small country, about 10 million people, you um, cross north-south in about five and a half hours driving from a subtropical south on uh, lemon trees, tea plantations, uh, you cross a moon-like landscape, mud volcanoes to a semi-desert in Baku and go up to 4,000 meter high mountains. And in these climate zones, there's a lot of cultural, ethnical, multicultural, um, a tangible, intangible. Who is your market? Because obviously there's a lot of Caucasus travel that would, not quite domestic travel, but it's regional travel. But you want more than that, don't you? I mean, we have uh, neighbors, Russia in the north, we have uh, Kazakhstan, uh, we have in the south, we have Iran. For now it's like, uh, it's mainly Middle East, um, um, visiting in the region. And um, uh, South Asia, India, Pakistan, um, but obviously, a uh, European market is very important for us as well. Is that the growth area? It is the growth area. We see especially UK um, um, as one of the growth markets, combining, uh, combining culture, nature, um, and uh, discovering these uh, unique elements. How do you ensure sustainability is actually practiced, not just preached? Exactly. Is we've been starting in uh, when we developed like really since uh, 2018. Um, focusing on locals um, and um, putting locals in the foreground of our activities. So developing with locals. Baku is a bustling place, is a, is a beautiful capital in terms of combining all the new, but it's like sustainable development happens in the region. So it's like getting people in the regions on board, rural accommodation units. Uh, but, but, but doesn't the fight for money, doesn't just, you know, let's build it, let's get the tourists in. No, it's not, not, that's not the way to go, no. Uh, it's like, in the, in the, it's like one aspect is obviously the, the economy on bringing the people in, but um, looking at uh, figures pre-pandemic, Azerbaijan had 3.2 million international visitors. So it's not, it's, we're not talking about mass tourism of a country of a good size. So it's like 3.2 million is still a number which you can easy, easy digest in like in small communities in, in rural areas. Now, the last few minutes.